I've decided to expand the veggie patch this year so I'm digging this over today ready to plant some things in the spring I've also got some chickens now, so I've had the chickens on this patch all winter so they'll have been fertilising it a little bit and I'm just digging it over um, a single dig this time, not a double dig like I did last um, spring for, on the uh, garden. Um, what I'm going to do is the original plot I had is now going to be a third of the plot so remember I had a three course like rotation so we had the roots, we had the legumes and we had the brassicas so what I'm doing is digging two new patches on here, one of them is going to be the roots one's going to be the brassicas and the old plot is going to be for the legumes or the beans and peas this year. So here's one of the new plots I've started to dig. Got about a third of it dug. Right, so that's going to be for one of the crop types. It's had the chickens have been on some of it most of the winter. So this is where the third plot's going to be. I've got the chickens on there at the moment. They're helping it clean it up and fertilise it and I'll move their run every few days and then it'll want digging over as well. Do you remember watching potatoes being harvested last autumn? Those not needed straight away were put into special coal stalls. These stalled potatoes are being gradually taken out of store to keep shops supplied all year. No need for imports here then. Some are packed into bags for you to buy in shops or made into potato products like waffles or smiley faces. Here are some potatoes being packed into 25 kilo sacks to send out to shops. These potatoes are being made into something you may especially enjoy. Can you guess what? Ready to eat.
as part of a balanced diet, of course. The white stuff, you saw how it was squeezed from the cow or goat. Over the coming weeks, we will see how it gets into cartons, butter, yoghurt, cheese, ice cream. The milk used for these products is specially treated to kill harmful germs and bacteria. The milk from the dairy animals is first stored in a cooling tank at 6 degrees centigrade. The milk is then heated to 72 degrees centigrade for 15 to 20 seconds. This is called pasteurization. This kills most of the bacteria so that it is safe for you to eat or drink. The pasteurised milk is then put into cartons for you to drink. This is goat's milk, but cow's milk is done just the same. Here's the milk being put into the cartons. The boxes are then labelled to identify the farm the milk was produced on. The boxes are then packed by robots. Before being drunk by you.